Hello there. So in this video, I'll be showing you ways that you can render faster without compromising the quality of your final render. First thing is, turn on your GPU if you do have one, but chances are you don't have one. But if you do, don't forget to turn it on, like so. Um, go to Edit, go to Preferences, System, and turn on CUDA. Stick to the end of the video, and then I'll show you a very useful technique that you won't find anywhere else on YouTube. And also, that technique can be used to render animations faster. But moving on, using technique number two is the AI Denoiser. Now this is 2.9, things are a little bit different now. You go on um, here, and then you turn on the render. And then, and then if you want to further customize it, you go to here, you turn this on, and you can customize the amount of denoising that you're going to do. But be careful, don't increase too much, otherwise things can look very fake and very smooth. The next thing you can do is to adjust the tile size. Now the tile size is different for every configuration you have. It depends on your CPU, your GPU, whatever, but there's a neat little um, add-on that Blender has that automatically determines what tile size is optimal for your system. Now go to add-ons, just search tile, and then click this and then you know it should be the tile size should be auto determined okay, the next tip i have is where is your render going to end up at is it going to end up on instagram because if you're uploading it on instagram the maximum pixel size on instagram is 1080 by 1080 so what's the point having it really high up you're going to lose that detail anyway so it depends where your renders are ending up on 1080 is sufficient enough and the next tip I have is to turn on adaptive sampling essentially what it does is it it adapts the sample size based on the amount of information there is on the the render screen basically so when most of us create a scene there is a background and a foreground and we will click render and then go back and fix things but most of the things that we fix will only be in the foreground so when we click render, there's a way in Blender um, to only render the foreground, thereby rendering only 50% of the total thing, as opposed to rendering 100% of the pixels every single time. The only difference is it's faster if you render just 50% of it. I might even push this idea even further to say that you could find a good photo like this and then slap your 3D model onto the photo, thereby uh, you know saving time on the modeling and the rendering now the way you do this is I'll jump into blender Now you can see I already have my 3d model in here and then once you found your photo what you do is you go into camera select your camera click your camera here turn on background images you add your image and then you open you find wherever you saved your image you open this okay now you turn the opacity full on and then you know you've got a couple of options crop fit stretch wh uh, whichever you choose choose whatever you need to choose but remember which option you choose because we'll be coming back to this a little um, in a little bit okay now the second thing you have to do is you go to render properties um, and then you go to film and then you check transparent okay we have one more thing to do you go to composition Oh, sorry about this. It's usually connected, right? And then you click use nodes and you click sh uh, shift A and then you search for alpha over. Put it in. You connect this for, uh, for the lower one. Shift A, search for image. The image, your background image, basically. And then you search for scale. Put it in. Now connect these in image image and then on top now for this image you choose the um, the image that you've used as a backdrop and for scale you go to render size and then remember whichever option you choose and select the option again I'm just gonna quickly recheck that I selected um, crop yes now yep so this is all set up now you're good to go now what you can do is you can just um, adjust your 3D model so that it looks it looks realistic. Now, the second thing, another thing that's going to sell your realism is if you add shadows to it. So what you can do is you can 
move your 3D cursor onto here, you go, you add a plane. We're gonna add a shadow catcher. Now I'm gonna go off the camera mode. Uh, just put this plane right under the, um, right under your computer model. Just, just adjust it um, by yourself afterwards. You know, basically just adjust it around and then just spread it up. And then basically where the shadow of these lights are gonna fall. So, you know, you, you ideally you want to adjust the plane on top of this table. I'm not gonna do it now, but once you've adjusted it, you select your shadow catcher, you go to objects, you go to visibility, and then you, um, you check shadow catcher, All right? You can see shadow catcher. Now, yeah, so that's it. You should be done now. Um, and then of course, if I go back out of the camera mode, you'll see that I've set up my lights, set up your lights accordingly. And then I think you're basically done. You just click render and then you get something like this. You know, very realistic, very sellable, and it will save you tons of time.